Hey, what is up everyone? Philip here. So today we are going to be talking about this Daru keyboard. So this keyboard is a semi-mechanical keyboard and it lights up up to seven different backlit colors. So this keyboard is not exactly a high-end, high-caliber gaming keyboard. This is more for people on a budget. You can get on it on Amazon for twenty to thirty dollars, depending on what the price is at the current season. So let's go ahead, unbox this thing, see what that's like, and then actually test out the keyboard, feel the key, and see what it's like. The experience of the Daru LK135. So on the back of the box, we can see here it is a mechanical feeling keyboard not fully mechanical then we can also see that it says reliable quality will be the judge of that to see what it feels like uh, seven different colors you can choose rgba you can choose exactly which color configuration you'd like to use with the software and it has 104 keys okay so Interesting. It looks like the space bar was not shipped properly in this package. It's okay. I'm sure we can put it back on. We'll look at that in a second. A little bit of a quest for us today. So I just messed around with this a little bit. It took about 30 seconds. It's really simple to take the keys on and off of the keyboard. They pop on and off. So if they do accidentally come unpopped off, don't worry too much about it. It's very simple to put them back on. All right, so moving on with the keyboard itself. First thing you're gonna notice is it is a USB connection type. So this will fit with most devices. This is not a wireless or Bluetooth keyboard. The wire does not come out. It is a full uh, keyboard, meaning it has the number pad. Some keyboards come without a number pad, but this one here comes with everything normally the more compatible keyboards are missing this half of the keyboard the buttons themselves do feel quite nice they don't feel very low quality but it does feel fairly grippy so you're not going to have slip issues with this camera as you're using the keyboard for your programming or gaming or just daily use so in terms of the loudness of this keyboard this keyboard is fairly quiet, but not silent. If I type on it, you can hear that it's not very loud and it's not very quiet. So if you like that loudness without disturbing others, this keyboard may be pretty good. And if you don't know much about mechanical keyboards, there's many different types. There's mechanical switches that are blue, red, white, etc etc many different colors and basically what the colors mean is how the click actually feels so blues are very clicky and tactile so when you push them they really it feels like you're pushing like a button and you can feel the feedback the reds they feel more squishy and basically with the reds it feels like you're pushing a gummy worm inside of your keyboard kind of i don't know that's the best example i got but these feel very blue like meaning when you push down on the key you can feel this uh, tactileness. So if you're into that, which I personally am a fan of that, I don't like that transition. I like the solid click feel, the tactile feel. So you're gonna get that with this keyboard. You can see that the switches are white. It does have this uh, clicky feel to it. And if you ever do need to clean the keyboard, you shouldn't have an issue with it. Like if there's dust that gets in the background or you just wanna run like the little spray can duster through it or just a rag or something you can easily pop all of the keys off and then you know clean it out dust it out do what you got to do and then pop all the keys back in and it is a fairly simple experience in terms of uh oh, i put that in backwards it is a fairly simple process to pull these out you can do it with your fingers you don't need a tool or anything like that and they clip right in so very easy to do and if we look on the back of the keyboard here, we can see that there are two rubber feet here to help the, prevent the keyboard from moving. And then we also too have two of these two kickstands 
if you want to prop up the keyboard a little bit. So it'll be angled a little higher towards you when you're using the keyboard. Or if you like the flat feel, you can always use it flat as well. All right, so we just plugged in the keyboard and you can see that it's green right now, really bright. And then it's pulsing and now it's on yellow. Really cool effect. And by default, it looks like it comes on the pulsing effect. If you want this keyboard to be a solid color of some sort, you would have to install the software and then change the color of the key. And you can have it permanently blue, purple, pink, green, red, blue, whatever color you're into or want, you can have that. And I'm sure you can change the pulsing settings in the software. So if you want it to stay a solid color, most likely you can do that. If you want the colors to pulse or have like a blinking or flicker effect, I'm sure you can do that as well. Most uh, keyboard softwares have that feature built in. If you look closely at the keys here, you can see that they are not glowing, but instead it is the back of the keyboard. So if you do a lot of night typing and you need to see the keys, you might need a little light or you might have to get really close to the keyboard to see which key you're clicking. But if you know how to type without looking on the keyboard, then you shouldn't really have an issue with the lights on or off. If you're going for this like neon gaming vibe setup or some sort of feel like that, I think this keyboard would be a really great um, addition to your setup. And for the last part of the video, what we're gonna do is use our keyboard here and we're gonna do a little typing test. There's a website called 10 Fast Fingers and basically what you do is type and it shows how much words per minute you can do. So this is gonna give you an idea on how this keyboard sounds and of course showcase my epic typing skills. No, I'm kidding, but let's see how we do. Okay, spell, nice fun. Oh, just one, two. Nice, not bad. And if you look closely here, you can see that we got 90 word, 91 words per minute. Not bad. If you wanna pick up this keyboard online, I'll leave a link in the description to Amazon. And if you wanna see more tech videos in the future, like this, keyboards, tech, various computer accessories, or just random things that I find interesting, be sure to keep that subscribe button and I'll keep you on the loop on awesome products, budget, high-end, just interesting products in general.